Hi guys, it's Caitlin Lazardi here from Sizzix at the scrapbook.com headquarters and today I'm going to show you how to make your own party fans. So the designs we'll be using for this project are these two dies. Now this die is a large piece that actually works to also make our medium size. So we're going to go ahead and cut out our pieces for our party fans. So first we're going to cut out the shapes for our large party fan. We're going to take the large thinlet and just cut this shape out nine times to complete our large party fan. Now for the medium party fan, we're actually going to use the same die, but if you notice right along the markers here, there's these little arrows that point to where you want to line the die up. So what we're gonna do is we'll put our piece of paper and we're just going to line the paper up to these markers. We'll finish it off with our other cutting pad and run it through. And here we have our medium size that we're gonna cut out six times. Now we're gonna cut out our small party fan and this one we're just going to cut three times to complete that shape. I'm just going to take my dye brush and run it over so that way it easily releases. So now that we have all of our pieces cut out, again we have nine pieces for the large, six for the medium, and then three for the small. I've already glued mine together. I'm just going to put the last tab on so you can see how it works. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun, run it across the edge there, and then I'm going to take this and just overlap it and you'll see how it perfectly matches up. So there's the large one. I'm going to do the same for the medium size. Pop that on right there. And then my small one. My one goes right there. So now we're ready to add the stripes to our party fan. So I'm just going to take some tape and run it across the full length of the fan and I'll take one more piece because I'm going to actually do two stripes with different colors. So now that I have my tape I'm just going to take some paint and you can choose whatever color paint you want I'm just going to brush that on and make sure that you have some kind of surface beneath to pick up all of the mess of the excess paint. All right, so now we're ready for our second color. Just going to put the copper right on the top portion there. So that way, when we're finished, we'll have three different colors. We'll have the original color of the of the paper and then we'll have our two stripes. Now for the small one I'm just going to take some glitter paint and just apply that right over the whole of it. So now I have the large one that has the two stripes. I did the same exact thing to the medium one. I just instead of doing two stripes I did one across the top and then I have my small one. All of the paint has dried and now what I've done is I've taken each and I've just done an accordion fold and folded it back and forth um, where the crease line shows on the die. So now that that's all together what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece and I'm just going to loop it around. I'm going to apply some glue right along the edge there. So now at this point I'm just going to take my little party fan and press it right down in the center and it's just going to automatically fold in together and I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just put a dab of glue right inside and that's going to hold it together.
So now I have my large, my medium, my small, and I'm just gonna put a dab of glue right in the center. And I'm gonna take my little party fan and just layer it right in the center there. So with these party fans, I hope that you have a ton of fun designing for your special party. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!